Hey everyone, this is the Dispatch for Friday, April 3rd. Our readings today are Psalm 31, verses 9 through 16, same as yesterday. Also, uh, now from Job, chapter 13, uh, verses 13 through 19, and again from the first chapter of Philippians in the New Testament, verses 21 through 30. Job is such a fascinating book, and this is just a small slice of that story, but what you do see in this passage from Job is his attitude, his perspective, and it is a, a kind of a defiance against God, a defiance against the idea that God would intentionally cause suffering for whatever reason. And really the whole project of the book of Job is to test the standard fallback theological answers to the question of suffering and to expose how unsatisfying they really are. So in this short passage that gives you a sense of Job's attitude toward his suffering and toward the God who would cause it, it gives you a, a glimpse of what that whole book is really doing in exploring the suffering of Job and the role that God plays in that suffering. In Philippians, um, Paul says, live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, uh, which Paul will spell out in so many different ways in many of his letters, but he does go right on to talk about the privilege not just of believing in Christ, but also suffering for Christ. Uh, and I think that gives us a glimpse of what Paul means by the gospel of Christ. Paul says that I've come to preach Christ and him crucified. That is a central idea for Paul, that the gospel is the gospel because Jesus died on the cross. So here we're uh, still preparing ourselves now for the coming of Holy Week and Good Friday, the death, of course, leading to the resurrection. But for Paul, the cross is so central because Jesus came not with power and strength, but with weakness, humility, and he died on a cross. Paul preaches a crucified Messiah. So when we live lives worthy of the gospel of Christ, we, le we live lives that demonstrate a willingness to suffer, a willingness to give, a willingness to sacrifice. Now, suffering is not always a privilege, of course. Suffering sometimes needs to be overcome, uh, and, and the causes of suffering need to be overcome. But the point that Paul is trying to make here is that the life um, that the gospel leads us to, a life lived that is worthy of the gospel, is not a life that embraces success and power. Instead, it's a life that embraces suffering, sacrificial giving, and uh, a humble kind of of love, that that is what characterizes the life of the Christian community, a life lived worthy of the gospel. One brief update for you today about the elevator. I was in the building yesterday and Dan, our site manager, was there doing some touch-up work. We had some great news this week that we thought we were going to have to get Comcast out to run two new additional phone lines. Um, and then we, of course, have to carry the monthly cost of those. We don't need those phone lines. The work is almost done on the elevator. We need to have some finish work done, carpet, inspections. Um, a lot of these things just aren't happening right now because of the, uh, the state of, of society. But once things are moving again and state inspectors are you know, doing their rounds again, uh, then I think we're going to see that elevator work wrapped up pretty quickly. So it's good news. I, I hope that uh, someday soon we'll be back in the building together and that that elevator will be uh, ready to go for us. That's it for today. Have a great day, a great weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday.